Good afternoon. I am Dr. Samuel Jarch, Principal Manuel Arasar, Allied Health Science College, Global College of Allied Health Science. And I am the chairman of Manuel Arasar Group of Institutions. Today, I am going to take this lecture anatomy and physiology of stomach for my children all of you have to follow and take it as an assignment and note it down and draw all the diagrams and while coming back to the college please bring down all this uh, question answers essay questions you know short notes everything you have to prepare and you have to bring Stomach is extremely important subject. It's very interesting also. <coughs> Stomach. In medically, in anatomically, we are calling it as gastric, gastrium. Locally, layman, we can call it as stomach. Our Medical term, anatomical term, gastric, gastrium. Stomach is located in the upper abdomen. Exact location is in the epigastrium and left hypochondrium and umbilical region. Little part of the umbilical region also will be covered. Location, you have to say epigastria mainly, left side left hypochondrium inferiorly, that is umbilical area. Inside this location, what are all the anatomical relations we have to find out? Anterior relations from above downwards, anterior abdominal wall and left lobe of liver. Posteriorly, it's abdominal aorta, pancreas, spleen, and left kidney. Superiorly, diaphragm, esophagus, left lobe of liver. Inferiorly, transverse colon and small intestine. To the left, diaphragm and spleen. To the right, liver and duodenum. Grass features of stomach. Stomach is a muscular organ. It's hollow. It doesn't have anything in the empty, empty pocket. It's a hollow muscular organ, which consists of the following parts. Upper part is called fundus. Middle part is body. Lower part is called as pylorus. Pylorus. This is having two curvatures. That is, left side is greater curvature, right side it is lesser curvature. This pyloric part will be leading into the duodenum, first part of the duodenum. This pyloric part is having a last part, it is called as pyloric canal, pyloric canal. Listen, fundus is the upper part of the stomach above the level of the cardiac orifice. Cardiac orifice, body, body, body is the main part of the stomach. Pyloric part, the pyloric part is the lower part of the stomach and is divided into pyloric andrum and pyloric canal. Pyloric andrum and pyloric canal. The stomach is dilated, if the stomach is dilated to the left, inner and outer bends have developed. If the stomach is dilated, dilated to the left, inner and 
outer bends have developed lesser curvature and greater curvature already i said structure as in the general organization of the wall of the gastrointestinal tract that is in this book ek jain anatomy and physiology uh 114 page 114 you have to follow uh the stomach and duodenum are divided by a thick and circular smooth muscle layer called pylorus or pyloric sphincter stomach and duodenum are divided by the pyloric sphincter the stomach is empty its walls are firmly attached together the fundus which is relatively thin strength of contraction contraction is weak and from the muscle layer are thick strength of contraction is greater the contraction whenever the bolus coming inside the stomach the food particles coming in the, inside the stomach the the stomach musculature start contracting uniformly and giving space it will dilate and it will give the space gastric mucosa then what is called gastric mucosa which is the inner cover of the uh, stomach exactly like what is in our mouth it's very soft you are touching like this it's very soft so mucus membrane is a soft membrane covering the inner surface of the heart main pons are upper fundus middle body lower pylorus pylorus is having pyloric canal and pyloric antrum so having the sphincter called pyloric sphincter two curvatures lesser and greater curvature the left gastric artery is going through the greater curvature the right gastric artery the other way is going through the lesser curvature these are the uh, main important things about the stomach structure of the stomach gastric mucus membrane which is very important because which is having lot of glands to secrete the gastric acid and gastric juice we will uh, you know look after afterwards uh, no, uh, we will see the about this juice and afterwards we will see about the gastric juice are also this mucus membrane is very important because it has lot of uh just lot of glands inside that that we will see later uh the main gastric glands gastric mucus membrane contain three type of gastric glands one is main gastric gland two cardiac tubular glands three pyloric or antral glands pyloric or antral glands main gastric glands main gastric glands the main gastric glands are maximum in number and contain peptic cells which secrete pepsinogen partial i mean sorry parietal or oxyndic cells which secrete hydrochloride the axyndic cells will secrete hydrochloride the peptic cells will secrete pepsinogen main gastric glands are the maximum in number and contains two type of cells peptic cells and axyndic cells that is axyndic is other it called otherwise called parietal cell which secrete hydrochloric acid the pepsinogen what is pepsinogen pepsinogen is secreted by an inactive protein as an inactive protein which is converted by the hydrochloric acid to active proteolytic enzyme pepsin pepsin also a small amount of pepsin can cause activation of the remaining pepsinogen 
pepsinogen is mainly concerned with breaking down of the protein protein in the food into smaller particles the pepsinogen is not active the pepsinogen the pepsinogen join with gastric acid that is hydrochloric acid it will be converted into, converted into pepsin which is the active form pepsin will dissolve the protein convert it into smaller smaller particles pepsinogen is inactive once again i am telling the with the hydrochloric acid it will be converted into pepsin the active form hydrochloric acid only when ph of gastric secretion is less than 6 hydrochloric act only when the ph of gastric secretion is less than 6 that is very important pepsinogen digest protein to polypeptides pepsinogen break down protein into polypeptides optimal activity is seen at ph below 4 the the activity the main activity if the gastric juice the ph of the gastric juice if it is lower than 4 only it will be active active the optimal activity we can achieve that is about pepsinogen again the curdles milk curdles milk pepsin act on casinogen milk protein to form soluble casein this combines with calcium salt to form insoluble calcium caseinate pepsin act on casinogen the milk protein which is the casinogen the milk protein to form soluble casein this combines with calcium salt to form insoluble calcium caseinate one is pepsinogen two is pepsin acting on casinogen to form soluble casein curdles milk which is called curdles milk second first pepsinogen second oxidic cells parietal cells parietal cells are found chiefly in the body of the stomach body the middle portion of the stomach this combines with calcium salt to form the pepsin i mean the parietal cells or axendic cells parietal cells are chiefly found in the body of the stomach which secretes the colorless fluid called hydrochloric acid the ph is what function of hydrochloric acid hydrochloric acid is secreted by axendic cells what are all the functions of the hydrochloric acid hydrochloric acid provides hydrogen ion concentration necessarily to fix optimum pepsin activity it it sec- secretes hydrogen hydrogen ion concentration which is necessary to optimize to have optimum pepsin activity for that hydrochloric acid is very important the pepsinogen so i in that form has to be converted into active pepsin the pepsinogen second one pepsinogen is a inactive one which has to be converted into converted into pepsin pepsin is the active form this conversion which requires this conversion requires hydrochloric acid which is the hydrochloric acid is killing the ingested the engulfed the bacteria ingested 
what we have swallowed bacteria useful in iron absorption the ferric form has to be converted to ferrous form ferric is fe3 this ferrous form is fe2 fe2 ferrous form of iron only can be absorbed through from the stomach for this conversion ferric to ferrous hydrochloric acid is highly mandatory which stimulates bile and pancreatic acid secretion it's a stimulator also so these are all the five functions of hydrochloric acid somebody is asking as a short note this five functions what are all the functions of the hydrochloric acid you have to write this five points which secretes the hydrogen ion to optimize the function of pepsin which which, the, which provides hydrochloric acid provides hydrogen ion concentration necessary to optimum pepsin activity second one activates pepsinogen which is inactive form to pepsin which is the active form pepsin only can work and it will digest the protein pepsinogen can't hydrochloric acid only converting pepsin activating pepsinogen to pepsin pepsin will you know break down it will break down the protein and you know, convert it into polypeptides which is also useful in killing the bacteria which is also useful in killing the bacteria the iron absorption it is having a greater part in the iron absorption the ferric form should be converted into ferrous form fe3 is the ferrous form ferrous form only can be absorbed through the mucous membrane ferric ferric has to be converted into ferric form which is very useful as well as fifth one the hydrochloric acid stimulates the stomach stimulates bile and pancreatic juice secretion stimulate pancreatic and bile secretion this is very important the axonic cells also secretes the intrinsic factor intrinsic factor is very important which factor which is which is the uh, which is a factor which will facilitate the absorption of vitamin b12 and is useful it is subsequent absorption from the small intestine also b12 will be absorbed from the small intestine as well as stomach it will facilitate the absorption of the uh, b12 it's an intrinsic factor the surface epithelium of gastric mucosa contains columnar or mucous cells the sub surface epithelium of the stomach contains columnar cells the mucus cells which secrete mucus mucus you you know you can understand it's little little uh, you know thicker than the this the saliva mucus which will lubricate the stomach the food particles the chyme what is called chyme which will travel very easily with the help of this the mucus which is mixed with the mucus it will be traveled down very easily that is the function of the main function of the mucus as well as which contain bicarbonate bicarbonate also the mucus the surface epithelium of the gastric mucus a contain this columnar cells the mucus cells which secrete mucus visible mucus is a gel to looks the mucus it looks like a gel which is alkaline in nature it lubricates the stomach as well as the 
food particles which contain bicarbonate also this bicarbonate plus tight junction between the mucosal cells form mucosal bicarbonate barrier that serves a protective function preventing damage to the mucosa by acid naturally say it's uh, acting as lubricant as well as it's acting as a barrier by that i i mean by that we can prevent in the presence of the this mucus we can prevent the damage of the stomach mucosa by the gastric acid hydrochloric acid wherever the acid if we are uh, uh, touching in our body we are put, put dropping a drop in our hand or somewhere in our skin it will be burned out the same effect will be you know present in the stomach also because it contain acid easily it will be burned because of this mucus and this bicarbonate uh, that damage we can prevent the visible mucus is a gel like substance alk- alkaline in nature lubricates food and coats the mucosa it is coating the mucosa this mucosa mucus along with bicarbonate plus tight junction between the mucosal cells from i mean uh, cells form mucosal bicarbonate barrier mucosal bicarbonate barrier that serves a protective function preventing damage to the mucosa by acid that will prevent the acid damage then cardiac tubular glands cardiac tubular glands secrete soluble mucus this is useful to lubricate the surface over which large volume of chyme moves back and forthcoming digestion cardiac means not heart stomach also is also having a name cardia 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 don't think it is heart cardia tubular gland secrete soluble mucus this is useful to lubricate the surface over which large volume of chyme moves back and f- no it will facilitate the digestion pyloric antral glands pyloric glands secrete soluble mucus and a rich alkaline viscid juice which is poor in enzyme content pyloric glands also secreting juices which is poor in enzyme content deeper portion of pyloric glands have g cells g cells deeper portion of the pyloric glands contain g cells the g cells are gastrin secreting cells which secrete in secrete gastrin which is a hormone what is the hormone secreted by the gastric juice gas the stomach that is gastrin said gar not enzyme is gastrin what are all the actions of gastrin gastrin stimulates mainly gastric acid secretion is meant for gastrin is for gastric acid secretion stimulate the growth of the mucosa of the stomach in small and large intestine trophic action this is a trophic action stimulates the growth stimulate gastric motility it stimulate gastric motility these are all the important of the gastrin it's a hormone gastrin secretion is increased by products of protein digestion distension of pyloric antrum vagal stimulation and is inhibited by acid in the antrum the gastrin is a hormone which will be which i mean which will be secreted in the stomach which secretion is stimulated by protein 
digestion products of protein digestion that means the breakdown products polypeptides protein will be broken down into polypeptides that polypeptides the distance of pyloric andrum with the because of the chyme the chyme if it is entering the pyloric pyloric andrum it will be dilated the distension of the pyloric andrum vagal stimulation any sort of vagal nerve tend the cranial nerve stimulation that is stimulation will facilitate increase the secretion the secretion will be inhibited by acid the hydroxychloric acid or chloric acid in the antrum innervation of the stomach that which is given in the 115 page of this book important one which is secreted that supplied by 10th nerve vagus nerve remember only this nerve 10th cranial nerve is the so name is vagus nerve vagus nerve don't forget functions of the stomach what are all the functions of the stomach it's a storage it will store food digestion is another function breaking down the uh, protein particles the bigger particles will be uh, you know converted into smaller smaller particles then secrete hydrochloric acid secrete intrinsic factor food is released at a controlled steady rate into the duodenum all of a sudden it won't go into the duodenum little by little in a controlled manner the food will enter into the duodenum these are all the main functions of the stomach next i am going to tell about the combination of gastric juice and that is the what are all the qualities of gastric juice how much it secreted how what is the reaction ph everything daily 25 to i mean 2.5 to 3 liters per day it will be secreted 2.5 to 3 liters it will be secreted the ph of the, uh, the this thing is 1 to 3 ph of the gastric juice is 3 reaction is acidic due to hydrochloric acid reaction is acidic because hydrochloric acid is one of the content of the gastric juice enzymes pepsinogen that will be converted into pepsin by hydrochloric acid renin in infants curdles milk gastric lipase gastric lipase is a weak fat splitting enzyme gastric lipase a weak fat splitting enzyme mainly lipase is secreted in the pancreatic juice here also it's there then lysozymes bactericidal enzyme lysozymes bactericidal enzymes then mucus mucus is of two types soluble and visible mucus is of two sides soluble and visible intrinsic factor intrinsic factor are useful in the absorption of vitamin b12 then water these are the combination of gastric juice remember the muck up just like that you no know, by hot that otherwise it will be evaporated while walking down and coming you know while bathing while walking over the corridor or anywhere you no know, recollect try to recollect collect and uh, start telling through your mouth recollect and present try to present to your friends colleagues or discuss through phones like that by that it will persist in the brain thank you so much the part 1 and uh, two videos are there about uh, because some uh, the blockage uh, block uh, in the cell something happened that's what uh, no, two videos for stomach one and two uh, try to uh, draw all the diagrams try to 
make short notes, you know, short notes as well as MCQs and uh, you know, essay questions, prepare. So make this an assignment while coming back to college, please bring down. That will give you a lot of strength and knowledge. Thank you. Thank you so much.